How to set up Shopify payments full tutorial. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with setting up Shopify payments. So let's get into it. Now, setting up your payment method and payment processes on Shopify can seem to be a very, very large task, but it, it can be broken down into a few easy steps that you can get started with. So let's jump right in. Now, to get started, you have to make sure that your Shopify store is not on the free trial because usually on the free trial, you can't actually set up a true checkout. So make sure that you have, you know, subscribe to a plan. Currently, Shopify has a $1 plan available. So for the first three months, you only pay $1 per month. So that is what you can go on ahead and subscribe to. Now, to get started with actually setting up our payments or, you know, the method of payment that we will receive on Shopify, we are going to go into settings. And one thing to start with is always your locations, shipping, delivery, and taxes. Now, you might say, hey, I'm here to set up my payments. Well, you can't set up payments unless you have a area of delivery or area of service. So the first thing you're going to do is click on locations over here and you will see you have a point of sale system that can be integrated. Then you have your default location. Now you can add places where you stock inventory, fulfill orders or sell your product. You have accessibility of 10 locations, even on the lowest tiered plan of Shopify. So you can click on add locations to add more information about your business. Now, once you have added your location, you're going to go into shipping and delivery. Now in shipping and delivery, you are going to build different locations and different zones. So to do that, you can actually scroll to the bottom of the delivery section and you will see local pickups, local delivery, delivery customizations, order routing, and delivery dates. Now, you will have custom shipping rates that you can set up as well as general shipping rates. So click on the generalized info and you will see your different shipping zones. Now, if I delete my shipping zones, you will see no zones or rates. Customers will not be able to complete checkout on your orders. So you guys can see if you don't have a zone created, customers can't actually check out on your store. That is why it is very pertinent that you always set up your shipping zones and taxes before you set up your payments. So to get started, just click on go to markets. Now, once you click on go to markets, this opens up the marketing or markets area of Shopify, and you can set up different markets that you are servicing. So you can click on add a market and you can take a particular region. So I'll actually remove this inactive market that we have. So I'm going to remove my pre-existing markets and I'll just set up only one market. So it's easier for you guys to follow along. I'm going to click on add market and I'm going to add Canada as my market. So I'm just going to search for this particular country all or search over here and I'll just search for Canada and I'm going to name the market name to be Canada as well. I'm going to click on add market and once I have added this market, I have a few market settings, the language settings, the product and pricing the duties and import taxes. Now from here, you can directly set up the particular duties and import taxes for a market, or you can go on ahead and go into the taxes settings later. Now I'm going to go into shipping first. And what we're going to do is we're going to head on over back into shipping and delivery in our general menu bar. And we're going to click on custom shipping rates and create new profile. And this is going to be a Canadian shipping rate. And this could be for specific products or certain regions. So we're going to go on ahead and create our shipping zone. And this will be for Canada. And I'll click on done over here. And I can add my particular product as well. So we're going to add all of those like this. And then you're going to click on add rate. Now you have two different options. You can use a carrier or app to calculate your rate. So this could be Canada Post, this could be any particular type of shipping postal service that you are using. I'm going to use a flat custom rate of 100. And then after that, you have your custom delivery description. So let's say tracking number provided, made to order, ships next day. I'll add ships next day. And the price is going to be, uh, let's say it's $2 for this. 
or let's just say it's one dollar now after that i'm going to maybe set the name to flat shipping and then click on done now once we have set up our market and once we have set up our shipping we can go into taxes i'm going to save this first and then we are going to go into taxes and duties now once you go into taxes and duties you will see if you want to include sales tax in your product if you want to charge vat on digital goods and charge sales tax on shipping Below that, you have regional information, so collected tax reports, as well as some applications that you can use to have automated taxes. Once we have completed all of these steps, we are going to go into our payment section on Shopify. So once you go into payments on Shopify, you can click on manage or add. I already have this pre-existing bogus getaway, but I'll show you guys to add a getaway of your own. Now you're going to click on activate Shopify payments over here. Once you have activated Shopify payments, you are going to be able to add the particular type of business you have. So let's say this is an individual business. You're going to enter your business info, your personal details, product details, as well as the billing statement. Then you have to insert your banking information and your currency. Once you have submitted your basic banking information, you will be able to integrate Shopify payments. Now, for some regions, Shopify payments might not be available, so you can use a third-party payment method. To do that, go into additional payment methods, and let's say I want my customers to pay with PayPal. I can click on PayPal, and I can just click on activate PayPal. Go on ahead and click on activate over here. This will lead you to the PayPal setup page from where you can set up your PayPal account. So you can set up your payment account. So whatever is your PayPal account, just log into that and you are just going to link it to Shopify. So whenever customers pay via PayPal, that designated amount goes directly into your PayPal account. Now, below that, you also have add payment method where you can add your own payment method. So let's say I want to offer Klarna where people are able to buy a particular product and pay later. So I'll search for Klarna over here and you guys can see there are different providers offering Klarna and they might have different transactional fees. We have um, checkout.com, AirWallX, Asia Bill, Ping Pong Checkout, Klarna itself. So you can choose a particular provider and choose to display all of the types of payment methods of that provider, or you can add individual providers as well. One thing I recommend is try to find a provider that provides all of your payments, because in that way you don't have to link five to six different types of providers, which can end up being a whole lot more you know, confusing for you, and can help you in reducing your transactional fee. Because obviously if you're just using one provider, you know a specific fee that you have to pay and then nothing else. Let's say I'm just searching for Visa. So you guys can see there are so many different Visa providers. Almost all of them have a transactional fee of 2%. So let's say I'm looking for someone that is providing Visa and Klarna. I'll search for Klarna like this. And now we have five providers with both of these. Now let's say I want to also search for American Express. Now I have, I still have five providers. Let's say I also want to search for Afterpay. Now I only have one provider left that provides all of these offers together. So I can choose this provider as my provider for payments on Shopify. To do that, simply click on the provider, click on install, and then you will be led to the registration or sign up page of that particular provider. You can do a bit of a cross check if you are uncertain of that payment provider, but just click on install and that is all you have to do to set up your own payment on Shopify. Now, another thing to note is that if you also want a payment capture method that is not a card method or Shopify payments or PayPal, you can scroll to the bottom and you actually have manual payment methods you can add. So you can click on add manual payment methods and you have four basic types you can create. So first is a custom payment method. This might be available only in your geographical location. So let's say Alipay. Alipay is currently integrated, but if you have your own alternate in your geographical location, you can insert that. You might have a 
you know, you have cellular microtransfers. So cellular transfer is super popular in certain areas. You can enter those numbers over here. You can also add money orders, bank deposits, or cash on delivery facilities if you are providing those. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, and I will catch you guys in the next video.